South Sudan has changed dramatically over the past two years. Since the revitalized transitional government was set up, the ceasefire has been holding. But it hasn't stopped intercommunal violence, which continues in pockets across the country, with devastating consequences for women and girls especially. Many don't have enough to eat and are deprived of land rights that would help them sustain their livelihoods. Under these circumstances, providing humanitarian relief and the means to withstand hardship in the long term is difficult. Since 2020, the Network for Innovative Resilience Building in South Sudan has sought to understand the situation, pinpoint knowledge gaps and propose innovative ways to meet humanitarian needs. A wealth of evidence points to three conditions for successful peace building. Strong links between regional, national and local initiatives. A recognition that the factors driving conflicts in specific places differ and long-term commitments that tackle the roots of the crisis. But meeting these conditions is difficult in South Sudan where the situation is rapidly evolving and long-term investments are difficult to make. As a result, those in the humanitarian sector are looking for new ways to help communities anticipate, adapt and recover from the damaging effects of ongoing conflict. Resilience is vital in countries like South Sudan where peace has remained elusive for years. But resilience is not an end in itself. Resilient systems for local peace, food or climate security can be harmful if they don't also consider equity, justice and rights. For example, conflict drives hunger and affects the food rights of men and women differently. And in South Sudan, where levels of food insecurity are high, responses must consider not only national food systems but communal processes as well. Few peace-building initiatives have looked directly at how denying communities access to food harms women and girls specifically and fuels the cycle of violence. By facing this challenge head-on, peace-building projects can not only build gender equality but improve food security and the resilience of women and girls to the effects of conflict. Read more of the network's analysis in our new report.